Hey everyone, and welcome to Back Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicate files from your Mac and free up some much needed space on your hard drives. Now, when I was evaluating these duplicate file finder applications, um, what I look for is something that's easy to use quick to get uh, the response that I need, which is to remove the files that I don't need. And also, it should be just easy. You should be able to open up the application, know what you have to do, and delete it. What I love about this particular application called Duplicate Viewer is that it lets you do it on a folder level or on a hard drive level. So if let's say you just want to look for duplicate files in your downloads folder, you can do that. If you want to look at your whole hard drive, you can do it. I also like the idea that it can view the files within the interface and delete them within the interface and it just kind of organizes them in a pretty cool way for you to figure out what you want to get rid of. So let's get started. Now first of all, right now, um, to day when I posted this video, it was uh, still doing the 48-hour giveaway. Now, normally this application is $9.99, which isn't really a fortune for what it does and the way it works. But if you're lucky enough to click on the link and you see the word get in this uh, little area over here and you look over here and the price is still free, you're lucky and you can get a free copy. If not, the price will be over here and it will uh, say $9.99. Still a very good deal. And I have to say, I like the way it works. So um, I'll give you a link to go to the duplicate uh, viewer in uh, the App Store. And once you get there and you download it, just click Install App, which will be over here. And when it switches the word to Open, click on Open, and it will open it automatically from your App Store, I mean, your Applications folder. So at this point, um, it opens it up. And as you can see, pretty simple interface. Has just two clicks and a round box here with an X. You have a choice, duplicate file finder, where are you gonna, if do you wanna find duplicate files or do you wanna find just files that are large and maybe you wanna get rid of some files that are um, taking up a lot of hard drive space. So we're gonna go to duplicate file finder first. Now, we could drag, drag and drop just a folder, we could drag and drop the whole hard drive, but first thing we're gonna do is drag a folder. So in my downloads folder, I prepared this folder called test, which I know I have duplicates in, and I'm just going to drag it right on top of here. And as you can see, boom, it's done. What it did was it broke down what the documents were, whether it was videos, music, which could really help when you're trying to figure out what you want to get rid of, archives, which are like zip files. And let's take a look at here. Let's start off. Here's the documents, video, music, archives, pictures, and others. So it didn't really fit any of those sections, which is fine. So Turbo Boost Switcher is an app that I downloaded, and I didn't realize that I had downloaded more than one copy. So I'm going to click a little checkbox over here, and I want to take a look at where this is located. So I'm going to actually click this uh, little magnifying glass, which is actually going to take me right to the file. And I can see right away that I actually have two of those files. And the first one, which I looked for, which was this one, I really want to remove the duplicate. So I'm going to select this one, click delete, and that's all there is to it. And it deletes it. Now I'm ready to go to the next one. Now the reason it disappeared from here is because it's no longer a duplicate file. So it doesn't need it. So let's do it again with, as you can see, it's still, the, the original one is still here. So now uh, I have two copies of Walter. I'm going to also select it and just take a quick look, make sure it is what it is. And there, again, it's two copies. The one that I'm clicking on is the one that's highlighted. I really want to get rid of the other one. So I'm going to uncheck it and I'm going to check it here and I'm going to hit delete. It's going to say, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And again, that's out of here. Now I can move on to the next one. Here's a converter. Um, right now I realize I don't really need this converter at all, but I'm going to take a quick look see what it is and i'm beginning to think that uh it's probably here we go we have two files i don't even need one of them i want to get rid of both of them so i'm going to click the entire folder and it says two files are selected and i'm going to delete it so that works out really beautifully and I've taken care of all the files. Now you'll also notice there's this little eyeball over here and that eyeball allows you to actually view a file. So if it's a PDF or if it's a, a different kind of a document, um, it'll allow you to, to look at it. But it, of course you'd have to see it as a duplicate. So I'm gonna make a duplicate file here. Command D, if you don't know, makes a duplicate file. And we're gonna rescan the same folder, but this time, um, and to rescan you click back, right? 
and I'm going to again throw the test folder, see what it finds. And as you can see now, it's only finding the one file. But now what I'm going to do is select it, and I'm going to say I want to take a view of it. So there it is. It's going to open it. And there you can see I can now take a look at what this file is. And if I want to make sure that this file is the same, hold on, I'm going to uncheck it. If I want to make sure this file is the same, I'm going to click on it and say, yep, that's the same file. And I definitely want to delete uh, the duplicate. And of course, it shows it deletes out of there, like I said, but as you can see, the file is still here because this will only show duplicates. Makes it really easy to use. Now I'm going to look at the large file finder. So at this point, I'm going to go back here and let's take a look at the test file again. I'm going to drag it. This time, it's going to show me all the files that are in the folder and it's going to arrange them by size. And as you can see, the green ones are probably the larger of the uh, files that are in there. And I could say, well, you know what? I don't really need this file. I can delete it right from here. But you'll notice that in the large file finder, the the viewing and the finding that file, which is right here, is over here and not at the bottom. So I will checkbox that and click this and it shows me exactly where that's located. I can investigate it. Um, I'm not going to use the little eyeball here because that's only worth it, as I said, for PDFs. But let's say there was a PDF file that was not a duplicate, but it was big, very big in size, and I don't really feel I need it, and I want to take a look at it. I can click on the little eyeball right here and see what it is, and if it's something that I want to get rid of, I can. That's all there is to it, to use this application. Very easy, so simple, so fast. Works in El Capitan. I'm assuming it works in Sierra, but you guys can let me know. I haven't tested it in Sierra. Um, it also probably works in Yosemite. Uh, and uh, I think it's a great app. If you click on the link today, you might get the 48-hour freebie. So give it a shot. If not, it's worth the $9.99. It works seamlessly. And if you're somebody that does duplicates a lot um, and you just want to keep your hard drive you know, at the minimal, you can. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.